Hi guys, welcome to Medic August. This is Pooja and it's a time of celebration because we just hit 600 subs. I'm super excited. Never have a thought that I would reach 600 subs so soon. So I'd like to thank all of you guys for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and making me motivated to make more videos every week. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys everything about MEBS in Bangladesh, like everything from how to apply to how it's there, how it's taught there, everything, literally everything. So without any further ado, let's get into the video because it's going to be a long video. I can already tell. <laughs> so the first thing, like before talking about how it uh, is in Bangladesh, the whole MEBS setup, we need to know whether you guys are eligible to go to Bangladesh for MBS or not. So for that, the first thing is that you should have passed a recent entrance exam that is taken in Nepal. So now the criteria for certificate. So the criteria of certificate for SCE is that you need to take any five subjects and take the average GPA of that subject. And for plus two, you need to take GPA of only three subjects, that is PCB, that is physics, chemistry, and biology, and take the average of it. Of it. After that, you get a GPA, which is the GPA that comes in this equivalent certificate. So when you take this average of SEE and uh, your plus two, then if your GPA is eight, then you qualify for scholarship. And if it's a seven then you qualify for paying so that's for your certificates now this means that yes you can go to bangladesh to study mbbs now is the time to choose a college now you have a college in mind then it's perfect do your research i mean you know for in terms of college you know everyone has their own specifications their own likes dislikes they have their own way to compare the pros and cons do your own research don't ask people like is this college nice like how do you like tell if this college is nice if this college is not like how you know if you ask me how is your college i'll say my college is wonderful like i don't know i mean how do you like even compare colleges you know for me it's good it's great because or oh, everything that I wanted in my college was there. So you need to list down everything you want inside your college and you need to do your research and compare colleges and find out a college that is best for you. So now what you need to uh, do is that you need to get a certificate from Ministry of uh, education which is called the no objection certificate so you need to verify all the tickets you have all your SAE certificates and your character certificate and the certificate of your plus two and um, the character certificate and so when i'm talking about plus two certificate i'm talking about the transcript not the individual certificate of grade 11 and 12. so now once you're your NOC is there, your certificates are verified, you need a lot of photos, let me tell you that. <laughs> and then you need to fill the embassy forms. Embassy form, it will uh, cost you about $70. So these are the basic things that you need to do if you want to apply for MBBS in uh, Bangladesh. So now let me tell you guys what are the subjects that you have to study in each phase. So there will be a total of four phases first, second, third and fourth phase. The first phase will be of one and a half years and the final phase will also be of one and a half years. So total years will be five and you will have internship of one year. I'll be talking about a few things that you guys need to know before coming to Bangladesh. <laughs> um, let's start with accommodation. So when you are choosing your college, you need to choose about accommodation and food. Um, so I think most of the time, you know, if you're living in a country for like six years for education and if you're living in the college, make sure the environment is the way you want it to be, the accommodation and food. Um, I don't think you can do much about food, but for accommodation, you can do a lot. In my case, what I wanted was my hostel had to be inside the college 
my hospital had to be inside the college for me that was one of the main criteria and my college met my criteria so i think so you just need to know what your criteria is so that you can choose a college so now food <laughs> if you are a vegetarian it's going to be a little bit difficult for you guys because there aren't much varieties it's not that they don't cook veg vegetarian food at all but they do but the options are really less and if you are a non-vegetarian it's a heaven they eat rice we eat rice they eat dal we eat dal for me it was the food that was the most difficult part in living there because i'm not used to eating spicy and it was like very spicy for me but if you eat spicy it's heaven for you. so in bangladesh they speak bangla uh, which is a language that also originated from sanskrit like nepali so it won't be that difficult for me i was able to speak tuta futa bangla from a week if you already know uh, nepali and hindi it's gonna be really easy for you so language is totally not a big deal and yeah you're taught in english but also you have to have to have to learn bangla once you started studying there <laughs> because you have to go to hospitals during clinical years and not all patients can speak english so you need to know bangla it's a muslim country so people ask me a lot of questions around about uh, but it's a muslim country but it's a muslim country so what <laughs> so what i mean we live in 2021 i'm very grateful that i went to a country once i was there i get to discover so many things which i would have never discovered if i was just in nepal i mean it was such a cultural shock for me and i get to learn a lot in such a good way i'm telling you this there are temples in bangladesh there are hindu populations in bangladesh you get holidays on hindu festivals such as durga puja which is ardasai saraswati puja so why wouldn't you go there and also it's so close to your home you can literally come home back even if you have a holiday of just a week like you can just come fly off or just take a bus and you can come to nepal it's that easy so from that point of view bangladesh is i think a very good choice now let's talk about education system i find the education system of this whole mbbs so properly sorted in bangladesh and i'll tell you why so i'll give you an example of like first year so that it will be kind of like i don't know uh relatable for you guys to compare so for and so first year we study three subjects anatomy physiology and biochemistry so for each of the subject we have six card and in each card we have about one to ten to about almost 14 items about two cards make one term so now i'll explain that in terms of uh, comparing it to a subject so now in uh, anatomy we have about six card and those cards are like for example you upper limb is one card abdomen is another card thorax is another card you know lower limb is another card so in this way there are six cards and inside each card there are items so for example in a uh, thorax card there's like one item would be for lungs um, you know gross anatomy of lungs one item would be uh, for the development of lungs then there would be another item for our heart gross anatomy of heart and then there will be another for development of heart so in this way there will be a lot of items for anatomy there are more than like 10 items but for physiology and biochemistry i i think there are 10 or less items now so i just uh, said uh, the items of th thorax now with thorax there's one more card which is um the upper limb and similarly the terms you know the items are divided and this two card the upper limb and the thorax makes one term so this is how the whole system works okay so now uh, the uh, you know the professor takes classes and explains about um, a topic about uh, an item 
then we have tutorial classes where the tutorial classes uh, teachers ask us questions and they make sure that we have understood something uh, from the lecture classes and if not they explain us and they try to add something on our head okay so we have to understand something over there because once the professor finishes uh, teaching one item then the tutorial class teacher what they do is they make us sit face to face like i am sitting and they ask us via questions it could be long questions short questions whatever they like and this is how we complete one item so this a small book which ha has all the items and cards and terms mark included there so when the tutorial teachers are asking us questions they have this card with us which has the whole items listed and they give us mark so if we do not complete these items we cannot sit in card exams we cannot sit in term exams and if we do not give card and term exams we cannot sit in the final professional exam so this is why i feel MBBS in Bangladesh is shorter because you have to study. You cannot procrastinate because once you start procrastinating, you will always be procrastinating till the end. And there's no escape. No escape because they will ask questions and they are very serious about it. And it's a viva thing, like face to face. So item is like that, Viva. So now card has like everything, like this Viva, this MCQ, this written, this practical, all of that. And so does the term. So this is why I call MBBS in Bangladesh sorted. So I think they just tell you the minimum of knowledge you need to know, you need to know. There is no shortcut. And I think that's a solid thing out there and that's really good i think i like just uh, told you very superficially everything that happens in bangladesh in terms of mbbs um i'm sure there are lots of confusions lots of questions that you want to ask me more after hearing this and i would be more than happy to answer all of them so don't forget to like so subscribe and Comment your questions down in the comment box so that I can make another video addressing all your questions. And yeah, this is how MBBS in Bangladesh works. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.